Hi, it's me again with Terrell Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was helping somebody last or yesterday afternoon and, and uh, this morning about making a border around the certificate, and it kind of looked like this. I I drew this and, and uh, actually got the idea of somebody else's YouTube video, but he it's uh, no wordage and foreign languages, and he he did a really good job. But I thought I'd add it to my channel, so I'm going to control D or can Holding down the control button, make a circle or an ellipse. Control D and make a duplicate of that. Holding down the shift key and just making two circles. Now I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle till it gets to the center. Basically, I'm getting a quarter of that box or a quarter of that circle. And there's another way to do that, but this is just as easy. I'm going to take my two-point line and I'm going to connect these two nodes. I'm going to go ahead and group this together with control G. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and the rotation is right here. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. I'm going to grab this one again. I'm going to make a duplicate. And I'm going to rotate it 270 degrees. And you're basically already done. And I've kind of left this one up here for so I can tell which one's the elite. Now I do have some garbage on the outside then we can easily delete and there's going to be a little bit of extra line there but this is no big deal and you only have to do it one one time then I said I left this up I'm going to have to zoom in I just need to delete that little bitty section all right, now I left this up here for a reason, and you can use it too. We need this open, so I'm going to delete that line and that line. We want to delete this line. We want to leave this open, so we're going to delete these two lines. And then we're going to delete this line. And you're really done. Let's control G and group that together. And then we can try this. Let's set our origin, origin to that node, if it'll let me. And we're going to mirror it, but I need to make a duplicate. So let's put it back, control D and make a duplicate, and mirror it over. Now we've got a little bit of a hiccup at the bottom, but you only have to fix it a couple of times. We'll get rid of that line. I'm going to take a two-point line and go from here to here. And I'm going to delete these two lines. I think that's the only time you've got to fix it. Control G and make it, group it. Control D. And instead of changing the origin of the bottom, we're just going to hold down the control button. Whoop. I guess we're going to have to change it back to the center. Let's see if we still got a duplicate. Nope. Let's put it in the center of the page. Control D and make a duplicate and just hold down the control button. Well, that shouldn't be happening. Oh, you know what? I was holding down the shift button. Control D. Hold down the control button. I'm trying to watch the screen and talk and can't do two things at one time. So the shift button would do that. And you're really done. Now you could keep going. Let's get this. Well, let's just move this. Let's control G and make a duplicate of it. Control D. Holding down the control button. And then what you do. I didn't mean to make a duplicate. Grab both those. Control D. And you could just keep coming till the cows come home. Down the line. I think you could probably even do corners with it. But what I would do before I would do uh, too much, I would make sure when we go control, control D, I'd see what it looked like mirrored. And see, we're going to have a little bit of hiccup. So before I would go way off to the right, 
I would fix my hiccup so I'd go down first. And then you shouldn't have to do it anymore. I don't know why I call it a hiccup. Just a little, little flaw. So if you do that once, let's group it together, control G, control D, and mirror it. Now you don't ever have to do it again. And you could keep coming till the cows come home. And I'm pretty sure you'd go around the corner. Um, let's go, let's back up here where we just had, well, we want the two. But we could rotate, rotate these. I didn't need to move my rotation to the center. Rotate these to 90 degrees and put it, you know, actually, you know, you can go around a corner, get your zoom tool. And if you did this the first time, you wouldn't have to, and that's pretty close. Now we've got a little bit of a odyssey there, but um, that could be worked out. Let's mirror it the other way. Nope, same thing. But that would still look good. Now what I said about coloring them in, I would color them in if you're going to do that. If you're going to have different colors, I would do them right now before you make all the copies. So let's make this inner circle black. And make everything else gray. Matter of fact, you could probably make that one black too, but let's just make it gray. But if you did this first, then your problems will be a lot easier than filling them all in because you're going to duplicate the color also. And we're almost there. And you could change that up quite a bit. I'm actually going to go left click and take the line away. I would group this together, control G, control D and make a duplicate and then mirror this and see then your colors keep going. And then don't ever just control D that one. Grab both of them, control D, and do them. And then you're doing four at a time. And then when you do the next one, you do eight at a time. And you could go till the cows come home. People are going to get tired of me saying that. but Anyway, that's a pretty neat design. And you could actually do a lot more with it. Let's group it together. Control G. Let's, uh, while we got it selected, double click with the shift. Well, that didn't work. We must have, I must have grouped part of that in our group. Yes, I did. So let's move that out. I'll ungroup it. get these two parts out, group this together, control G, and then while holding down the shift key, select your rectangle tool. And there's a lot you could do with that. Let's, let's move the rectangle. Well, don't ever do that. Let's say the rectangle is 104 inches. Let's make it 110 inches. Move it out of the way, fill in your your uh, background with a different color. Bring in your, let's go back. Put this to the back of the page. I've got a hotkey that's just Q. And you've got something totally different. If you're a printer or a sublimator, if you're an engraver, that won't do you any good. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.